Barnyard Critters is a card game for children or adults can play this like. So you're going to have a certain type of animal that will be missing from one of the cards, say like a, a purple pig, and you have to find the card that's missing the purple pig. If you ever played the game Set, it's very similar to that. I always say this is set for children, which is a really good Mensa type game where you're just trying to see what is different with the color variations and the animal. So normally there will always be one animal and one color off and you have to find it as quickly as you can with the face up cards. Now against kids I feel like most of the time the adults are going to be able to win this game need to hold back a little bit just to give the children a chance at all or maybe do a countdown like one, two, three, four, five and then the parents go or something of that nature otherwise the older kid, the older person is just going to dominate. I think it's going to be very. You know, every once in a while, the kid might get one, but I think they'll be at a severe disadvantage with this one. But it's a really good game just to play, like when you're waiting for a restaurant or you're in uh, a place where you're going to be waiting sometime to get doctor's office or something. You can pull this out. It does take a little bit of a room with the cards all being face up, and you can play it backwards where you have the cards with everything to, to figure out what's missing and get the singular one. It's an okay game. We ended up with a couple copies of this. For me, I think I'm going to purge it just because we don't play enough. We don't play these kind of abstract games very much. My kids are much more into the theme and the story of what's going on, and they're kind of aging out. With that said, this game could be for a wide variety of people and ages. It's not just a children's game that you're going to see here, although a lot of people may have started with set first, and then this would be the kids' version of that perhaps, but you know, adults can look at farm animals also. So for me, it's going to be a purge just because we're not playing it very much, but this is a very solid, very fun card game. Who should buy this game? Uh, this game actually could be for adults or children. They take set and change it with barn animals to make it a little bit more friendly for kids. Maybe they're not into triangles and shapes as much. You know, the pigs and the horses and stuff would be more attractive, but that might be more attractive to adults also. They'd rather have animals and just abstract shapes so this could really go for anybody it's a game you can quickly play um anyone can sit down and play this game i think when you sit down everybody's not going to be equal at the table some people are going to be able to really dominate this game but there is a lot of fun i've even had parties where i just with non-gamers just people over i'll have this out people will play it for a few minutes and move on to another activity it has a wide variety of uses barnyard critters it's it's a hit i like it but it's going to be a purge just because my kids tend to go with those thematic games which shouldn't be a knock on this game at all.